All right, folks, we just launched a completely rewritten Rust-based terminal for NX. And it's like a huge deal. I'm gonna show you in a second, but before we dive in, take a minute and like the video, subscribe to our channel so you're not gonna miss out on future videos at all. So rather than going to explain you how it works, whatever, let me just show it right away. So here I have a React-based monorepo, and let me show you super quickly the graph so we know what the structure of this workspace roughly looks like. It's pretty simple, so we have a React Vite-based front-end application, we have some packages here, some libraries that this front-end application depends on. Some of these are actually buildable, so meaning this one here, for instance, needs to be pre-built such that it can be consumed. Now what is also here is a backend application. This is a node-based backend, but it could be really whatever technology you like. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, first of all, before, when you wanted to like run your development environment, you had to kind of spin up in one terminal the front end, in one terminal the back end, and potentially a third terminal where you run the pre-building of that buildable library in, in watch mode, such that whenever that changes, it refreshes, and so your developer experience while coding doesn't get super disrupted because you see outdated things on UI. Now we have kind of combined these things with two features. First of all, the continuous tasks that we implemented, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and then a new terminal, which kind of wraps these things together really nicely. So let me show you on the React frontend application. So if I go in here, I go to the package JSON, you will see there is an NX node I added. So other than that, this is a pretty normal package JSON file. And in this specific NX node, I define for our dev target to run our VDEV server basically, I tell it that this one depends on that backend application's serve target. Meaning that whenever we run this one, well, we need to trigger this one. And then it launches a watch dependencies task as well. Now this one here, and this one here is a so-called continuous task, meaning they run and keep running until we kind of cancel them. So these would be the typical ones that you would have otherwise launched in a separate terminal window, and you would have had to manage them and spin them up manually or via some custom scripting. So let me show you what this looks like in a new experience. First of all, let me give the terminal here a bit more space, and I'm just going to run NX dev React app, which is our React application that we just showed. And so this one here is our new terminal that you can see. You can see here the front end dev task for our React V application is being shown. Below it, you see the backend surf target that are currently running. You can also see here, this is, these are continuous tasks. And then here, this the last one is the, the watch depths one. So you know, these ones are pinned. I can unpin them. And let me just like hit space and then navigate up here to the watch depths. I can inspect what is going on there. So you can see the command has been run. Nothing really has happened there. If I, for instance, go to my UI library, and let's make some change here. But before I gonna do that, let me also here pin the front end task. So let me say here, I want to see now what's going to happen in the dev target of my front end app. So I can say, uh, hit one, which will pin it on the first terminal window, and then I can hit two on the other one. So now basically I'm seeing the front end task here and now and the watch depths task. And so if I make a change now, go in here, you can see that this one automatically rebuilds because it saw there's a change and also our front end application will now automatically get, be triggered and refresh the UI via the hot module reloading that's happening in Vite. Now, as you might have seen, I can also tap here in between these different windows. So this allows me here to navigate up and down. I can open up here the view of one of these tasks that have already completed. So this has been the build of the backend as well as the builds of the different libraries that we have. The window is also fully interactive. So if I go, for instance, here to our dev server and I tap over, I can hit I, as you can see down here, to make this interactive. And so I can go in here, and as you can see here on the dev server, you can press H plus enter, and it's going to be interactive. So I can just interact with this and say, let me clear the console hit enter, and it will clear out the console for me. This is obviously something super useful if you run your vtest tests or your jest tests, you can go in and filter the different tests that are being run interactively without having to rerun the entire tasks directly. Now also, if you have multiple of these pinned, where for now we just allow you to have two different windows pinned, because otherwise it would probably get too much, but we can also flip between whether we want to have these vertically displayed or horizontally below. Now in order to get all these hotkeys, 
you can hit the question mark here that will pop up a help window where you can scroll inside and you see all the different shortcuts that I've been using here to toggle windows, to pin them, etc. And one thing you can also see here is this vertical versus horizontal layout. So I can hit M and this will flip it to a horizontal based layout versus a vertical based layout, depending on how much screen space you have or which type of tasks you run. Now I can quit all of these by hitting Q, which will show me this dialog and hit countdown until it's being canceled. But I can also just hit the normal control C, which will immediately exit the terminal. Now, obviously this cleans up all parent tasks as well and makes sure everything is kind of terminated properly. Now this terminal UI is really nice for these long running continuous tasks because you have them front and center, always see what's going on. You can flip between them if you have multiple ones. And if you close the terminal, everything is being cleaned up for you rather you having to manage like multiple terminals on your own. But even for running single tasks, we put a lot of thought into how those should be displayed. And so they also use the new terminal UI, but for instance, let me show you this by uh, running a task directly in the NX repo itself. So if I am running this documentation task, you will see it will start up. And then we pin that at the top here, the one that triggered the whole run. And you will see the pen and task are running here. The output of the main task is shown in the middle, and once that completes, the terminal just closes. Now you still see the output also in the original terminal as well, because you might still want to scroll up with that. And obviously you could go ahead and just basically interact by just hitting some keys, and it would not close the terminal. And also once this is done, as you can see here, I can still interact here, like scrolling up and down to see what the log output has been. Or as mentioned, I just hit Q, and it will close and show me the terminal output directly in my original terminal. And this also really shines if you have a lot of tasks to run, which in a large workspace and a monorepo can often happen. So again, let me show this in the NX repo itself and run NX run many, dash T, let's run all builds, the linting, the end to ends and tests, etc. And so again, this boots up all the tasks. You can see how many there are. Uh, you can obviously now already interact with these as they are streaming. You can just like go in and see what's going on. But below here, you also see there are different pages. So I can use the arrow keys to flip between these different pages of all the tasks that are currently being lined up of running. Now I can even go ahead and filter. So if I here hit the slash and I type Vite, it would filter down just to the V task. So you can see the V build base already has happened. There's no V task currently being lined up for running. But if you wait a bit, we would also see that jump at the top where we see the running tasks for this specific filter. And I could obviously just go ahead and say play right ones are currently running as well. Let me just filter a build. And you could see here the different build tasks, for instance, just running at the top. So this would just filter out all the build ones. And I see the ones that are running here at the top part. So you can see even with a lot of tasks, this is still nicely laid out for you. And we also put a lot of thought into how the terminal itself renders. Like for instance, if I decrease the size, you will notice that the cache column, for instance, disappears because the most important one right now here is probably how long the different tasks take. So a lot of thought has gone into the details, the very details that make it pleasant to work in a large workspace. So yeah, give it a go, try it out. Unfortunately for now, we don't have Windows support. Windows is kind of like messy in terms of like what type of terminals you can run there, but we were currently looking actively into it and hopefully we can ship that pretty soon to you Windows users as well. So we've not forgotten about you. As always, again, like and subscribe to the video. It gives us a lot of feedback of what type of videos you like and what other videos you want to see from us. So comment on that video as well and subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos that's coming out.